Hello friends, welcome back to a new video on Tecla structures, tips and tricks. In today's video, I would like to show you how to create a manually create, create a PEP connection, just like this. It's the connection between two tapered sections. First, the column and the second is a rafter. Okay, this connection is, uh, consists of uh, two end plates and bolts and also uh, the uh, some stiffeners here. Okay, the detailed connection is uh, given here mm -hmm. about the plates and the rafter also uh, and the column uh, uh, tapered uh, properties here. Okay, for creation uh, this kind of, of uh, members, we have tapered component in Tecla structures. Tapered, if you uh, go to the application and components and uh, just write down tapered. <clears throat> okay, we have so many tapered uh, components here, but uh, we're going to use uh, this component here. Okay, double click on that. <clears throat> this is the first point and this is the last point. Point one and point two. Okay, so you you give it uh, here the width of your section. It's a uh, it's the web web. It's on the web, not total. Okay, you can you can uh, change it to total depth. Okay, so it's up to you uh, to use uh, which of these. Okay, so let me let me check if uh, we have uh, a section AA here. Okay, section AA is a uh, the the inner only the uh, web depth is uh, 500 okay at section a and, that's, and uh, at section pb it is uh, 900 it is not total depth it is only the web depth okay so and also for the rafter it's uh, section dd here and uh, at section dd it is uh, 800 here but uh, at the center of the intersection of these two members, uh, the rafter and the column is also 900, okay? So, go to the component. It is, so, uh, we should use this this one. Here is 500 and here is 900, okay? And go to parts, web thickness. The web thickness here, here, this is the web thickness, okay? For all is 10. This, the web thickness is 10 and the flange thickness the flange thickness uh, I think it is uh, yes it is 15 uh, the upper flange and the, uh, the, the lower flange also this is uh, the outer flange and the inner flange this is means uh, uh, the upper and the lower okay so this is uh, 15 15 okay so and the width of the flange the width of the flange I mean this is the width of the flange okay this from here to here this is the width of the flange okay so i think here it is a yes this is a width of the 215 250 you can give him uh, the inner and the outer flange but uh, here it's the same okay so the material is and it is not important for the today's video uh, we, we we are gonna focus on the creation of the connection not uh, on, on, on these uh, informations okay click on apply and okay and uh, from here to here okay oh sorry what's what uh, okay apply and okay from here to here this is about creation of the column so as you see, the orientation of uh, the column is not correct. For, for that, click the component. Make sure you are selecting the component. Click the component, right click, move, special, and mirror. Uh, sorry, rotate, rotate. Click on the rotation point. Here I want to rotate about the intersection of the two grids. Okay, and write down the 90 degree. Click move. There we go. Okay, I think it is uh, in a correct position. Okay, so for the creation of the rafter, the rafter is also uh, the same, the same properties. Because uh, we see here the section uh, DD and the uh, section AA here is also okay. So uh, tapered section, okay. But here uh, the second point, the second point here. Is uh, 900 okay? So I should uh, click from here to here. This is the second point, okay? 
just like this if you select the first point here from uh, from here to here so the 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 uh, smallest section will be at the starting point okay. so okay so how we create this connection uh, just uh, like this the, the the plates and the bolts so it's very important to know that the steel that that uh, these end plates are perpendicular on the top flange of the rafter it is very important always it is uh, because uh, we we're gonna uh, cut this web straight not uh, like uh, with a slope okay mm -hmm. so for that if you see that the the, the plate the the starting the this corner of the plate is uh, located at the intersection between the lower the lower flange and uh, the the lower flange of the rafter and the flange of the column okay exactly i will show you the point this is a point here this point is the intercept the, the starting point uh, of the end plate okay so for creation the end plate go to the beam and profile uh, we're gonna use the rectangular sections rectangular section plate the plate height here is not, is not actually the height of the plate it is the width of the plate so the width of the plate uh, so the height of the plate is uh, is about the starting point and the ending point we we're gonna uh, select that points okay the height is exactly the the width of the flange it is uh, 250 okay the width uh, the plate the plate width let me let me check the plate width it is uh, plate 25 millimeters okay this is a detail of the plates okay so it is 25 25 and apply and okay so uh, change it to end plate the name end plate okay the class okay you can you can uh, it's up to you to use uh, any class okay so as i said before this intersection is a starting point of your plate okay from here and right click perpendicular okay so uh, as i said before it should be perpendicular on the top flange of the rafter here this is a perpendicular on the top flange of the rafter okay click on that so the rotation of the uh, of this plate is not correct Select the plates and go to the rotation and change it to front. Modify. Here the rotation of the plate is correct, but uh, uh, it should be it should be in that way. So it's not. Uh, sorry. Back. And the right and left we can shoot on plane. Right. Let me try. Oh no, this is not working for us okay and uh, sorry so adapt this behind uh, I should uh, go to the front okay so let to be in that way okay this is a second plate this is a second plate uh, this is our first plate sorry mm, let me get back to the connection here this is a second plate and uh, this is a first plate and the second plate okay so just click this uh, click the plate and right click copy from here to here okay okay uh the connection is perfect now let me get back to, so we're gonna cut these uh, flanges and the webs to get the, the exactly like this okay so let me let me check the in 3d right click and move and then rotate yes the orientation of the plates and the positions are very uh perfect okay so <laughs> So, and here, click on the edit and uh, line cut or fitting. Okay, we can we we, we uh, will use a line cut for here. Okay, so for the, the uh, for the upper and the lower webs, uh, sorry, flange, you can use a split split. You can use a split uh, command. But uh, for now, uh, choose the select uh, objects and components. Okay. Go to the split and the upper flange split at here okay and another split split at here okay this part should be this inner part should be removed okay so this this upper flange should be remained like this this is the upper this is the upper plate of the of the 
a top flange okay so just for this also <coughs> click on the split and uh, click the plate uh, from here okay so this this part should be removed we don't need that okay so this is very this is very perfect okay so and the, about the about the web show so we should use line cut click line cut and click the web from this end to this end on the plate and select this part to be remove it okay so and uh, we are done about the rafter so we're gonna fit this uh the web and the, this flange of the column okay again you can use the uh, line split split the the top flange of the column click here and click the intersection okay and remove the upper uh, upper parts okay so and uh, we should we should cut this web like this and also fit to the fit this web to the upper this upper plate okay so i will use the line cut for here and fitting for here okay go to the line cut and the web from here to here okay and the pick side to remove this side to be removed okay this side to be removed and go to fitting click the web the fit should be from here to here okay perfect it's very important to know um, avoid of using fit part two times more than one time for one part it's it, you should be uh, careful about that okay so <clears throat> i think uh, the the uh, form of uh, connection is very perfect here so and about this here we have uh, a little extent here i think it is about uh, eight or ten let me 10 centimeters okay so again you should use a uh, split uh, let me let me show you something very important if i use line cut from here to here and select part to remove this is should be straight should be perpendicular per perpendicular straight uh, because we are not cutting in the factory like this the plate end of the plate should be should be straight not like this let me show you it's not it is not correct because we are not cutting the cutting the the plate like this in the factory okay so the end of this plates all the plates uh, except the web plates on on all the the top plates the flange plates should be straight like this like this and straight okay it's very important and let me remove that line cut go to the split and here and also uh, remove this part okay this is perfect and about the creation of the bolts here uh, let me let me create that uh, plate this this two plates here go to the steel and beam this is uh, stiffener sorry stiff stiffeners stiffeners okay so the plate of the stiffener is uh, actually i think it's 10 or 12 okay here 12 and the height it is the the height of this let me let me show you the height of this uh, plate go to the height of this plate is actually from from the end of of this plate from here to this intersection this intersection okay so it is this is uh, 120 okay okay go to the beam stiffener and 120 okay get back to sorry get to the beam okay this is perfect and from here to the perpendicular okay so let me check the orientation and the i think it's not here it's not uh, the front it should be at behind okay this is perfect mm, let me check 
mm -hmm. at side of the, the behind okay there's a small clash here we can uh, just fix by line cut line cut from here to here and this part should be removed okay okay so let me show the orientation and the position this position is not correct because uh, at the, we are at the middle on the plane uh, it should go to let me try it okay left it's correct and the left from um, move from here to here okay <clears throat> let me go to the change it to right and move this from here to here okay this is perfect okay this is a this is a stiffener plate here so we need to model another another plate here from here to here <clears throat> and same it is the same with the same uh, property Click on the move beam from here to here. I will adjust the positions later. Okay. So and this behind I should mid middle. Okay. So and go to the move from here to here. This intersection. There's a small clash here, but uh, I will. This is not a clash here, <laughs> and uh, let's let's uh, um, shorten a little bit. There's a clash here. Another shorten here. Mm, four. Yes, it's perfect. Okay, so let me let me show the. This is not correct because it's uh, from the right go here from here to here let me right move spatial from here to here only in x direction so in uh, x direction okay perfect <clears throat> let me change the i think it is 12 it's 12 okay okay this is perfect okay for creation for creation of uh, these uh, two plates in the up in the other side we gonna use a mirror okay but let me let me complete everything here and i will i will uh, uh mirror the the this plates okay so <clears throat> so the total length of this plate is i think it is 950 okay let me check 970 okay sorry 900 and also for that 970 okay so i think the form of the connection is here is very perfect so uh, uh, I think it's it's enough for today's video. Uh, for the for the rest of the video, uh, stay tuned, and uh, I hope you see you soon.